I wanted to make this video about Taiwan because Taiwan is the place where I've lived for most of my adult life and I think in my own story and in the story of the banana fish, Taiwan is a pretty important part. I moved to Taiwan in 2015 and I'd never been here before. Um, but I wanted to try living in a different country and I think Taiwan was a good choice. Before I moved to Asia, I remember talking to a guy from Hong Kong and I asked him where would be a good place to live and he suggested Taiwan because it has good city and good nature and I think he was right. Living in Taiwan you can really easily access nature from the city. Um, you can live close to the mountains or you can go to the beach and I think it's a good variety and a good balance for a good quality of life. In general, I think Taiwan has a good quality of life, um, for me anyways, because it's super convenient living here. Everywhere you go, there are so many convenience stores and things are really 24 hour and I've gotten really used to Asian living like this. I love convenience store food, even though it's a lot of plastic. Um, I like going to get chips at 3 in the morning or get big coffee whenever I want. Um, I love Simple Mart and Family Mart and it's just very convenient knowing that you can go get food and drinks and snacks and pay your bills and garbage bags or anything that you would need at any time of day. Another thing that I love about Taiwan is that there's a district of the city where you can go buy anything in person that you want. Um, I never buy things online here because I can always go and see it in person and touch it with my own hands before I decide I buy it. I go to the fabric district and buy fabric. Uh, I like to go to the fish street even if I don't buy any fish because it's just like a trip to the zoo. And you can go buy clothes at the Korean wholesale market or you can go under the bridge and buy old dead guy shirts for only a hundred. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a, a bird street and an electronics market or a camera street. You can really do anything that you want in person here and I like that. I also love the food here even though I'm not much of a foodie. Um, I'm not really interested in food and I will notoriously just eat gruel to make myself not hungry but in Taiwan, there's always treats that you can get somewhere, and um, it's just a nice dopamine boost if you need it. I love Taiwan breakfast. I love fan tuan and shui jian bao, and like the breakfast hamburgers they have here. I also love my warm day. My warm day is my sweetie. My warm day is so good. I also love that in Taiwan, I can pretty much bike anywhere. Um, Biking across the whole city doesn't take that long and I've done it in the blazing heat and the pouring rain for years. It's, it's actually fine. Then when I'm not biking, I also like that the transportation here is so unbelievably good. Um, I'm celebrating eight years of not driving because driving is stressful and dangerous and I would just rather take the bus. Chill, sleep, relax. The people in Taiwan are also really nice. Um, there have been many times where I'm talking and making absolutely no sense, but they're always very polite and patient and yeah, they, they don't treat you very differently here as a foreigner, certainly not in a bad way. In some countries, the people kind of gawk at you, but in Taiwan, they're pretty chill. I think one of the things I love most about Taiwan though is just the ineffable vibe of Taiwan. It's very... Asian living. It's very retro and DIY and very busy. Taiwan has this really recognizable character about it where you can just see a short clip or a picture and you'll know that that's Taiwan because it just has this really recognizable visual aesthetic to it and I really like it. In the city, even the busyness of it, I find it kind of poetic because every little detail has kind of a story to it and you can see a person's train of thought when they were doing that and yeah I kind of like that about it. I think one of the things that was most impactful for me living here though was that every little thing in Taiwan has a cute smiling face stuck on it. 
Um, whether you're taking the bus or in a shop or in the subway or just on the street, Taiwanese people love to communicate their message with like a cutie little character. Going back to Canada, there were times when I felt the public space was just really austere because, you know, I'm used to everything having just a cutie little face on it looking back at you. And Taiwan is the place where the story of the banana fish started because I saw these characters and I thought that I could make my own like that. And so that's what I've been doing. There are some artists who are from Japan, whose characters are very popular in Taiwan, um, but there are also some really popular Taiwanese ones, and I've been able to do some of the big exhibitions in Taiwan making banana fish and share my characters in really unique ways with people here. I think the audience in Taiwan is really receptive towards the banana fish as well, which I'm really thankful for. I think they already know how to take this kind of art and um, the kind of projects that I do because I'm not the only one who does it here. So the banana fish were kind of born in Taiwan and inspired by Taiwan in a way. Um, so I'm very thankful for Taiwan for that reason. Chisuan so many times living here, it has been so difficult, but I think that's also why I value it more, because for a long time living here was challenging and also interesting for the same reason. I think I'm pretty lucky that Taiwan is a part of my story, and I'm pretty thankful that Taiwan led me to making banana fish like I do now. I wanted to make this video on the eve of my departure as kind of a love letter to Taiwan because I've really loved living here the past couple years and I think about these years in Taiwan making banana fish really poetically and I'm really appreciative that I was able to live somewhere that inspired me and allowed me to um, like live creatively like I have. I left before and I quickly came back. Um, this time will be gone much longer but I think it'll be interesting to see how the story of the banana fish develops when the banana fish aren't in Taiwan anymore. Even though I won't be living here anymore, Taiwan, in many ways, still feels like home. <laughs>